Hello, my dear student. Today we will talk about subtraction function tables. I bring a very nice video. It's about subtraction. I hope you will like it, inshallah. So we will start our lesson today by a video. Uh, I want for you to focus on the video when I play it because after we finish, uh, we will answer some questions according to this video. Okay? So are you ready to see it? Okay, let's see it together. Hey, sorry. What's the matter? I see you're worried. Do you know what all those lines are for? <laughs> you don't? They're the subtraction symbol. The minus sign. Do you know how to subtract? <laughs> don't worry, sorry. I'll teach you how. Whoa! These cupcakes look awesome, sorry. What is it? Are you hungry? Come on, don't be shy. Have one. In one bite? You're never full, sorry. Do you know you've just done a subtraction without realizing it? We subtract to know how many things we have left after taking away some of them, just like you did with these cupcakes. For example, before there were three cupcakes on the table and you've eaten one. So if we take one away from three, there will be one and two cupcakes left. Three minus one equals two. Well done. We have done our first subtraction. See how easy it was? Yum, yum. These cupcakes are mouth-watering. But wait, sorry. You've subtracted again without realizing. How many are there left this time? There were five cupcakes and you've eaten three. So if we take away three from five, there will be one and two cupcakes left. Two. Five minus three equals two. Awesome. Are you still hungry? There's nothing we can do with you, sorry, is there? On the table, there were seven cupcakes and you've eaten four of them. If we take away four from seven, one, two, three, and four, the result is one, two, and three. Seven minus four equals three. Good job, sorry. Do you like subtracting? I told you, sorry, there were too many cupcakes. Well, let's recap the subtractions we practiced today, all right? We can also do horizontal subtractions. It's done in the same way. Pay attention. Three minus one equals one and two. Three minus one equals two. Awesome. Let's do the next one. If I take away the three cupcakes from these five cupcakes, one, two, and three, I will be left with one and two cupcakes. Five minus three equals two. Excellent, sorry. Shall we try the last one? If I take away the four cupcakes from the seven cupcakes, one, two, three, and four, I will be left with one, two, and three. Seven minus four equals three. Well done, sorry. Now you know how to subtract. Are you feeling better, sorry? <laughs> My, there's nothing we can do with you, sorry. Hi everyone! This theme park is just awesome! Are you having a good time? Oopsie, your balloon just burst. Shall we go get you another one? What are you playing? You've got perfect aim. That's a great way to learn how to do subtraction. <coughs> Would you like to practice for a while? Let's find out how good my aim is. There are one, two, and three balloons. And I'm going to see if I can burst one of them. The subtraction we need to do is three minus one. This means there are three balloons and I have to burst one. I'm going to aim well to see how many I'll have left. Flying away. 
There are one, two, three, and four balloons. And I'm going to try to aim at two of them. How many balloons will there be left? We need to subtract four minus two. This means that out of four balloons, we need to take away two. I'm going to aim well to see how many I'll have left. Baby, now we finish the video. I hope you like it and you understand. Okay, so let's make practice together how we can make minus, how we can subtract. Well, we have two ways in subtract. So I will tell you the two ways and you can choose whatever you like. Okay, so for example, if we have 5 minus 2. Well, how can I get the result 5 minus 2? Well, the first way, you can count from the small number until you reach the big number. So, after 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 5 minus 2 equals 3. <clears throat> okay? Or, we have another way. We have 5 minus 2 equal what? So, the first way... To find the result, all what you have, just count from the small number until you reach the big number in your finger and then see how many fingers do you have and write the numbers, okay? So 5 minus 2, we make it what? We count after 2, after 2, 3, 4, 5, that's 3, so 5 minus 2 is 3, okay? We have another way. Let me tell you how. 5 minus 2. How can I get the result? We can count counting back. So you will see, you will say that. Before 5, you will count back 2 steps because it's 5 minus 2. So you will count back 2 steps. Up before 5, 4, 3. So 5 minus 2 is 3. So you can count from the small number until you reach the big number or you can counting back to get the result. Both way are correct. So you have the free to choose whatever you like, okay? So let's see the first one here. In the first question here, he wants from you to follow the rule to complete the table. He want the rule here, he wants from you to subtract 3. And he gave you the first number 5. So 5 minus 3. When we subtract 3 from 5, the result will be what? Well, um, let's make a deal. I will answer the first question with you. 
uh, counting from the small number to the big number and the next table uh, I will counting back and to let you see the two ways okay and when you answer choose whatever you like so 5 minus 3 let's count after 3 4 5 so 5 minus 3 equal what guys that will be 2 super okay let's see number 7 let's see the next one 7 minus 3 7 minus 3 equal what come on count with me okay let's count together after 3 4 5 6 7 so 7 minus 3 equal what equal 4 great job let's see the last number here we have 9 minus 3 okay now i want for you to count along and tell me the answer i'm waiting for you super i can hear you that will be six great job excellent habit so here how we get the result we count from the small number until we reach the big number let's see the next question the rule here he won't permute subtract six so we will subtract six from this number okay in this one i will count back okay to get the result so nine minus six before nine eight seven six five four three so nine minus six equal three okay let's see the next one 11 minus six so let's get let's count back before 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 so 11 minus 6 equals 5 super <clears throat> now make this one alone okay it's 13 minus 6 so try to find the result and i'm waiting for you super i can hear you 13 minus 6 equal what that's a great baby yeah that will be seven great job excellent okay let's see the third question okay now i want from you to stop the video try to solve this question alone then play the video game compare your answer with mine but before you do that i'm sure your answer will be correct okay now stop the video and I'm, i will wait for you okay okay habibi welcome back so here you want for me to subtract 4 from this number so let's start with the first one 7 minus 4 yeah that will be 3 what about 9 minus 4 excellent it's 5 great job and 11 minus 4 yeah that will be 7 Super, you answer all questions in the correct way. Great job. Perfect, Habai. And now, guys, we finish our session. I hope you understand the lesson and you enjoyed the video. So, bye and see you next time, inshallah. Bye.